It's Waka kickball time again, and we're kicking off this season with a special exhibition grudge match between two of LA's most colorful teams. The pregnant cheerleaders from Dogtown Division and Hollywood's Little Lebowski Urban Achievers. This is an age-old rivalry. And by age-old, I mean Whoa. last spring. <laughs> if you call this show up and you keep saying that Lebowski is going to win this game, guess what? You're an idiot. Pregnant cheerleaders, this is going to be a blowout for them. I'm so sure of this, I'm going to bet a liver on it. I guess you know part of the history was that they were one of the originally hated teams in the Hollywood division. And the first time we played them, we actually had uh, a gentleman on my team uh, hit one of their players in the groin as he was running the first and kind of <laughs> knocked him out. So that was, uh, that guy didn't like us to start. Yeah, they've always kind of been the two best teams, I guess, in the league. have been the uh, pregnant cheerleaders and the uh, Lebowskis, I think. We were uh, undefeated for the regular season, as were they in Hollywood. And we were hoping we, could meet, we were going to meet in the regionals, but alas, that did not happen. In the spirit of good fun, both teams have agreed to come out and play this highly anticipated showdown. Experienced defense on both sides kept the game scoreless through three innings. We pick up the action in the bottom of the fourth. With bases loaded and two outs, Peter Shear steps up to the plate and fires a long fly ball to left, just over the head of Lisa Krupp. A clutch two RKI single by Pish puts the Lebowskis on the board. We go to the top of the fifth with Jeremy Hubler at the plate with two out and one on. Smitty delivers a bouncing curve and Hub launches it to right. Jen Luna's got a shot to end the game, but it bounces loose. Ian Kesbaum racing from first scores easily. Two to one Lebowskis off Hoob's two out double. That brings big papa Pat Sattler to the plate. Here's the pitch, and it's a towering bomb to right. Luna and Peach converge, and Peach knocks it down. The relay home, but no chance to catch Hoob, who scores the tying run as PSAT cruises into second. 2-2, bottom of the fifth. The Lebowskis need to manufacture a run. Seth Weisman leading off. He bunts it back to pitcher. Kevin Meister up with it. And he beats the throw. Jen Luna up next, a crafty veteran. Kicks a perfect sacrifice to first, moving Weissman into scoring position. Craig Schmidt wants to end this game right here. Rockets it to right, but it hangs up for Joel Wilma. Two away, but more than enough for Weissman to advance to third. And so it's up to Stacy Ackman with two out and the winning run 60 feet away. She pops it to short. Kesbaum slides. He's under it, but it gets away from him. Weissman scores the winning run, and Stacy Ackman, dragged from her sickbed to play kickball today, delivers the walk-off single, despite the sparkling defensive effort by Ian Kesbaum. A hard-fought and grueling contest on both sides, and a heartbreaker for the pregnant cheerleaders, falling 3-2 to two to the Little Lebowski Urban Achievers. For Waka Kickball, thanks for watching, and to find kickball action in your area, visit kickball.com.